In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the three main ways to import audio into Logic Pro X. Before we do, I'm going to make a note that there is a folder called Motown 125 that is both on the jump drive and on the desktop. It's copied to two different places, but it has the same content. I did this so we could learn to import from two different places. So to get started, let's import an audio file from the Finder window. To get to the Finder, we're going to hold down Command and hit Tab until we get to Finder. And if you look at the top left corner, you can see that we're in the Finder. So let's go to File, New Finder Window, and a new Finder Window comes up. I'm going to grab the first audio file from the jump drive. So under Devices, we can find the jump drive. I put it in the Junk folder, and here's Motown 125. And I'm going to grab the drums, drag it in, and put it to position 1111. And now this new window comes up. It says the added audio file contains tempo information. Do you want to import it into this project? If you look at the drums in the Finder window, you can see that the audio file is an AIFF file. AIFF files can store both tempo and key signature information. Now if we look at the folder, it says 125 beats per minute. This track is 120 beats per minute. So if we import this tempo information, I'm betting it's going to change it to 125 beats per minute. And it did. Now let's hit play and listen. Okay, I'm going to bring it back to the top, and it's hitting pretty hard. If you look over here, we want the peaks just to go a little past this circle. I'm going to hit play and adjust the volume on the drums. And uh, now it's peaking just past the circle, so that is a good level. So now that gives us a bit more headroom. And hit return and back to the beginning. So let's uh, import another file from the Finder window. And Apple tab to Finder. And our Finder folder is still up. Um, this time we're going to grab it off of the desktop. So let's scroll up. And under Favorites, here is the desktop. Motown 125, and this time I'm going to grab the bass. Just select it and drag it in. Um, let's try this again. Select and drag, and there it is. Position 111. Let's hit play. Uh, we're still in the finder. Um, let's click Logic, and now we're in Logic. Let's hit play. And I'm going to turn it down so it fits in with the drums. and hit return to the top. The next way we're going to import an audio file is through File, Import, and Audio File. But to import this way, you have to have an audio track already made. Whatever track is selected and wherever the playhead is, is where it will import to. So I'm going to hit return so the track is back at 1111. Then I'm going to add a new track. So under Track, New Track and it's going to be an audio file, create. Now this track is selected, let's go to File, Import, and Audio File. And I'm going to get it off the jump drive first. It's under Devices, go to Junk, Motown 125, and this time I'm going to select the congas. You can double click it or just hit Open. I'm going to double click it this time and it imports it to 111 on that track. You can see that the region doesn't match the track name. All you have to do is select the region, go under Functions, and Name Track by Region, and then it renames the track for you. You can also just double-click this and type it in if you want. So let's hit Play and get a level on the congas. And turning them down, and I'm going to pan them a little to the left. And let's return to the beginning of the track. I'm going to import one more thing using File Import. And we'll need to make another audio track in order to do this. I'm going to add another track a different way this time. We can hit this plus, and then we can choose audio just like before. And now we'll check to see if our playhead is at 1111, and it is. So File, Import, Audio File. 
And we're going to go to the desktop this time, which is under favorites, Motown 125, and let's grab the tambourine. And I'm going to add this uh, by clicking open this time. And there you see it. You can see that it's four bars of tambourine, so I'm going to hit option drag and copy that over. So I have eight bars of tambourine. And I'm going to put that to the right a little and turn it down. And there we go. I'm going to select this region so we can name this track. Again, we're going to go to Function, Name Track by Region Name, and it's been renamed. I'm going to hit Return, so I'm back to the top of the track. The next way we're going to import an audio file is through the browser, which we've already done once while we were going through the tabs. The first time we were in this project folder, there were no audio files in here. Now you can see that there are audio files in here. These are the audio files that are part of this project. To import, I'm going to go to All Files. And if you remember, this is the project folder. This is where the project is being saved. Home is the next one. This is basically the favorites in your f Finder window. And Computer, this is where your hard drives are. I saved this on the jump drive, so I'll double click that. And Junk, double click. And Motown 125. And I'm going to grab the hand claps this time. So we're just going to drag this right over. This is a three bar phrase, so let's option drag and option drag one more time. And then I'm going to command click to grab that bar and delete it. And now we'll have eight bars of hand clap. So let's hit play and set a level on that. And now return to the front of the track. Let's grab another one from the browser. This time we'll go to Home and Desktop. And there's our Motown. This time I'm going to grab the guitar. And we'll just uh, drag that right in there. Let's hit Play and set a level. All right, uh, back to the front of the track, and let's just grab these horns as the last thing and drag it right here. Hit play and set a level. So there we go. Uh, we've imported tracks three different ways. I just grabbed all these tracks by holding shift and clicking the bottom to the top. I'm going to mute these because we're going to turn our attention to importing a track from a CD. We're going to import from a CD all three ways. So those tracks are muted. Let's uh, hit return, go back to the beginning of the track. So the first way we're going to import is through the finder window. Hold command and hit tab until we get to the finder. All right, and our window still open, so Let's go down to Devices, and there's our CD. I'm going to grab Track 3, and uh, we'll just drag it right in there. And we'll let it import. This track has been mastered, so it's going to be really loud. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn it down at least 10 dB. That way we don't get blasted with a high volume. All right, let's uh, return back to the front of the track. And let's mute that. And the next way we're going to import is through the file. We'll need to add another track that way. So let's use a quick command, Option, Command N, which gets us to this window, so we'll hit Audio and Create. Our track is selected, so File, Import, Audio File. Let's go down to the devices, and here is our CD. I'm going to grab Track 3, so we can double click or hit Open. I'm going to double click it, and there you see it's imported. It's got a different name, so let's grab the region. Go up to Function, 
name track by region name, and it's now named. So there you have it, another track has been imported. So the third way we're going to import is through the browser. So let's go to the browser, and we're going to need to go to all files, and then computer. And you can see the CD right here, we'll double click that, and we're going to grab track 3 and just drag it in. And it's imported. We'll just uh, go somewhere in the middle, take a quick listen, hit play. And there you have it, three different ways to import audio from a CD. All right, so to recap, there's three different ways to import. We can import through the finder. We can import through the file, import audio file. And we can also use the browser. We go to browser, all files, and any of these three tabs, mostly these two.